What's up guys, it's Feeve Chief here and today I'm going to show you the best way to make coins on FC24 during Team of the Year. But before we jump into that, I'm going to show you the easiest way for you to get some coins. If you guys are looking to buy cheap, fast, and reliable coins, make sure to check out IGGM.com using the link in the description and use the code CHIEF at checkout for a 5% discount. Now let's get right into this video. All right, boys, so diving into this video, Team of the Year comes out in just a couple hours when I'm recording this, and with Team of the Year comes a ton of market shifts because of all the new cards, all the supply coming in, and everything like that. So we're going to dive into that and basically how we can make coins throughout Team of the Year taking advantage of it. So the number one thing during Team of the Year is obviously packing Team of the Year cards, and this leads to loads and loads of supply on the market. Number one, through people's saved packs that they've accumulated over the last weeks and months in hopes of packing a team of the year and number two is going to be this promo pack section ea have been flooding this section throughout the year leading to tons and tons of supply so i'm not expecting anything different for team of the year and i've also seen a couple leaks in terms of packs we're going to be getting and it's going to be pretty ludicrous in this promo pack section on top of, you know, the packs we already get, like 50k packs, 100k packs, everything like that. So the supply is going to be through the roof over the next week and a half or so. So what's the best way we can take advantage of this? Number one is just bidding on cards. It's always the best way to make coins on like a normal promo friday saturday after content you get lots and lots of supply from those store packs so we like to bid on cards and make coins and you can typically make about 50k in an hour after content just bidding on cards now this is going to be taken to a whole nother level during team of the year because there is going to be a whole nother level of supply and with that supply comes tons and tons of cards that there's just so much supply and there's not enough people to bid on it in terms of fodder cards. So fodder cards, if you don't know, are essentially just cards that are like the cheapest in their rating and are only used for SBCs. So we're talking like these kind of average 84, 85, 86 rated cards that are very, very cheap here. And these become super easy to bid on. So let's go ahead and dive into this and how we're going to take advantage of it. Number one is after content every day is when there's going to be the most players on the game the most supply on the game and the most packs being opened because that's when store packs get dropped as well so this is going to be the best time to do it is like 7 p.m 8 p.m 9 p.m uk as packs continue to get dropped in the store and the number one thing we're going to do is go through some bidding filters here that are going to make you guys a ton of coins and what we're prioritizing is any sort of filter that is going to loop in 84 85 86 rated cards that we can bid on so the first one here is going to be gold rare chelsea defenders in this filter we have reese james and tiago silva both as 84 rated cards again right now probably both about 2,000 coins i guarantee you you'll sit there and win cards on bid for 1200 1300 literally minimum price when there's all this supply on the market so that's a nice easy one for us is that the next one we can do is if we just go gold rare Spanish center mid, but you also need to put on, you can see it barely under my face cam there, play style plus only. And what this will do is it'll wrap in just a couple 84 cards here. We get Tiago and we get Luis Alberto. And for these cards, when you're bidding, let's say 84s, you're going to sell for 2K. I would try to pick them up for 1700 would be my price. So that's just an example there. Next up, we'll move over to the Bundesliga here and we'll look at Bayern German midfielders, I believe is what I'm going for here. I didn't look at these before, but I believe this is correct. Let's have a look. And yeah, you'll see we have Muller, we have Sané, we have Nabry, and you'll get some higher rated cards in here too, like Kimmich and whatnot. But we're focusing on these 84s. We got three 84s in this filter. And again, you'll just pop your bid up there to like max bid price, like 16, 1700 and go to work. And you can see right now there aren't a lot of cards because nobody's opening packs right now. There's nothing special in packs. But once Team of the Year comes out, this supply is going to be nuts. And I'm going to put a list of all the filters and whatnot in the Discord. So make sure to check that out. Uh, links in the description to join the Discord. And we'll be live streaming as well. So make sure to join there with any questions you have. I got my list here. I just want to throw like maybe another one out there. A really easy one here would be like 
gold rare Brazil Arsenal players. This brings in uh, 384s with Jesus, Gabriel, and Martinelli here. As you can see, 384 rated cards. And again, after content, this is going to be unbelievable. And you can just sit there and bid on like individual cards. Like, let's say I wanted to just after content i was like okay i'm just gonna go bid on bernardo silva for example and you could do this but it's just more beneficial to have a filter that brings in more cards that you're looking to bid on so you can choose individual players ratings whatever it may be i prefer to use filters and i'll, I'll also have filters that will cater to for example like specific ratings so one that i've used in the past is if you set your minimum price to 1100 max bid to 1200 and then your minimum buy now you just set to like 9k or something this will bring in a bunch of 84s on bid once, you know, there's a lot of supply and they're getting listed for their min bid price. So all the list in the Discord, I just kind of want, want to run through some with you guys just to show you some examples of what we'll be doing. And I'll make sure to ping you guys when it's time to hop on those filters. But guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video.